See a full gallery of images at JediInsider.com. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today I want to talk about a book. That's right, a book review today. We're going to be checking out The Ultimate Guide to Star Wars Action Figures from 1977 to 1985, the vintage Star Wars lineup. You see, I love collecting action figures, as if you couldn't tell. I sit here and I do these videos talking about action figures all the time, and that's just because I really enjoy this hobby as a whole. And not only do I go out and I constantly buy action figures and hunt down figures to add to my collection, but I have always been very interested in the history behind action figures. So it's not uncommon at all for me to hunt down different books talking about various action figure lines or just the hobby in general. And that is what is so appealing to me about the ultimate guide to vintage Star Wars action figures. You see, Star Wars is sort of like the thing that snowballs many of us into the world of collecting action figures. I know I'm not alone when I say that Star Wars was sort of my gateway drug into the realm of buying action figures to collect. Many people started off with Star Wars action figures and a lot of folks started off with the vintage Star Wars toy line. You see, the vintage Star Wars toy line has got historical significance when it comes to action figures because they kind of helped mold exactly what has become of action figure collecting in general. The great thing about this book is not only is it a guide to the action figures themselves, but there's a lot of history within this book as well. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those cool key factors with this particular book. The book was written by Mark Belomo, and it is filled with lots of great photographs and a lot of great information on the vintage Star Wars toy line. But like I mentioned, there's a lot of great history in this book as well. And the book starts off with a fantastic introduction that kind of sets the pace for exactly what you're going to see in this book about that vintage Star Wars toy line. It starts off kind of talking about where everything was in the world of toys back when the Star Wars line first began. It gives you lots of great information about what molded this toy line, such as things about the cost of oil being high in that era. So that meant things had to change with action figures. So many toy companies shrunk things down to the three and three quarter inch scale, which had become a staple of Star Wars all the way up till this past year when they finally introduced six inch action figures. It also kind of started this whole collect them all mentality, something that really wasn't present before the vintage Star Wars line. So a lot of this kind of staple that we have with collecting toy lines all started with the vintage Star Wars lineup. Also, did you know that when these things were hitting stores for the first time, many of these figures retailed for $1.99? Two bucks a piece? You know how many Stormtroopers you can get for $10? Yeah, five Stormtroopers for $10. One Stormtrooper nowadays costs you $10 in the three and three quarter inch scale if you're lucky enough to track them down. It's kind of amazing just thinking about where things were and where they've kind of come now. So the line itself obviously is going to be the highlight of this book. And what's really great is the book details all of the different incarnations of the vintage Star Wars line, starting with the early bird gift certificate package. Gives you the whole history behind that, which of course is when Kenner couldn't meet the demands of the Star Wars line when it first started, so they merely offered everybody a promise of action figures at Christmas time, with the action figures shipping at a later date. How amazing is that? There's no way you could get away with that these days, right? The book greatly details all of the figures as they appeared in the original Star Wars line, to the Empire Strikes Back line, the Return of the Jedi line, and even the power of the Force line at the very end, and we even get some great detailed information about the spin-off lines, droids and Ewoks, based on the cartoon series that came out far after the movies had come and gone. When you're flipping through the book, you're gonna be presented with a page-by-page -page guide of every single action figure that was released. And one thing that is really great about this is the amount of information that is presented within this book. Not only do we get gorgeous photographs of very clean and neat vintage Star Wars action figures, but we also get a really great description of the character itself. 
In fact, some of the details on the characters in here are amazing. This book isn't just a guide to the toy line, but practically a guide to the characters themselves, because there is a lot of detailed information about the history of each of the characters. Even the most obscure characters that were only seen on screen for seconds in the Cantina and Jabba's Palace have a history written down in this book, which is something that I was not expecting. Along with the history of the figures and the characters themselves, we also get some information on the action figures. We get variations of each of the figures. See, one thing that this book explains that I find very interesting about the vintage Star Wars line is that many different factories around the world produce these toys, which means there were slight molding and paint differences between the figures making for a lot of variations of several different characters. And what's really great is this book actually shows you side-by-side -side comparison pictures of all of those tiny little variations so you know exactly what to look for. You also get first appearance, exactly when the figure appeared. You get original retail price average. You get a description in words of what to look for on the figure as far as the colors go. And you even get an estimate on about what the figure is worth now, both mint on card and mint in loose. Now, the book does make sure to tell you up front that all of those current prices are based off of just an average of what they've seen these figures sell for in completed listings on eBay and in shows and such like that. And it's just a guide. In fact, these prices can change all the time. So it, the book is very good about telling you up front, don't hold that as gospel. It's just kind of an average of what the figures sell for now. So you could use it as a price guide. You can use it for a quick reference guide. It's filled with glorious photos. Like I said, such clean and nice photos of these very hard to find complete action figures from the vintage toy line. When you start getting into things like the power of the force line, which was really unique there at the end, you even get a look at all of the different coins that were released with the figures, as well as the coins that were mail away only. Very, very rare, very hard to get a hold of. So it's really cool getting some very nice scans of those coins to look at in this book. And then we come to some of my favorite parts of the book, which is where we get to look at the play sets and the vehicles and the creatures that were released in the vintage line. Stuff like the Death Star playset and the Creature Cantina are so amazing and playsets that I personally would still love to own to this day. But the next best thing is getting a really nice look at them with great detailed descriptions right here in this book. And if you need a quick reference at the end of this, if you're looking for something specific in here, it's really nice because there is an index at the back of this book that tells you exactly what page you can find everything on within this book. It's alphabetical, it's very easy to sort through, and this book is just chock full of information. Seriously, this book is 270 pages completely covering the vintage Star Wars run. Everything from the very beginning of the Star Wars line all the way through droids and Ewoks, photos of all of the action figures, great detailed information, vehicles, creatures, play sets. The vintage Star Wars line was amazing and it featured so much product. Now, as I'm one of those guys who kind of attributes Star Wars to my collecting, got me into collecting, one thing that I have to know is that I'm one of those guys that kind of jumped on late. You see, I didn't start collecting Star Wars toys until 1995 when the Power of the Force 2 line launched, which means I completely missed out on the vintage toy line. And this vintage line is so hard to come by these days, especially complete. It's There's so much to it that it's always been kind of scary trying to get into collecting it. It's one of those things I've always try to decide if I wanted to jump into it, and I have picked up pieces here and there that I really like. So this book right here really gives me a chance to not only flip through and get a detailed look at everything that I'm missing out with on that vintage toy line, but it also gives me a great reference in case I ever do want to really jump in and start my collecting. This book is pretty fantastic. If you're a fan of Star Wars, if you're a huge Star Wars collector, or if you just enjoy the history of action figures like myself, I can't recommend this book enough. I think that this is a really great guide. And I know there have been a ton of Star Wars guides over the years, but this is a really great updated book. Just came out in December of 2014. So it's probably the most up to date and it's got so much detail in it that I don't think you could go wrong with it. 
So there you go, guys. Just my brief review of the Ultimate Guide to Vintage Star Wars action figures. This book is available in bookstores right now. You can find it at places like Barnes & Noble. You can even shop for it online at Amazon.com. Like I said, if you were a Star Wars fan or just a fan of action figures and you love the history behind all this great stuff, definitely check this one out. Until next time, my friends. Oh, <laughs>